We're at S. Lilly and Son in the centre of Birmingham. They've just invested in their sixth citizen machine. Let's find out why. Craig, as I mentioned, sixth generation of the Lilly family. That's correct. It's been going since 1840. The products must have changed massively over time. What have you been manufacturing? Well, obviously, when uh, the company first started, it was mostly parts for the railway industry at the time. Uh, then it progressed through the years. We used to then make parts for crystal radio sets and then, obviously, the advent of electricity. Then we started getting into uh, uh, electrical uh, uh, parts, as in lamp holders and associated uh, accessories to go with it, um, which obviously brings us up to the present day. OK. And lamp holders, and also you do subcontract work as well? We do as well, yeah. So obviously with the CNC machinery we have, uh, it's enabled us to do a lot more subcontract work for people, yeah, turn parts. And I won't hold you to an exact figure. How many parts do you have to manufacture a year? Well, it's hard to say exactly, but from our own range of products alone, we've got to be close to around 4 million parts. And then on top of that, you've probably then got all the subcontract parts we produce as well. OK. Hence the reason you have five Citizen Miano, well, it's five Citizen Machines now? That's correct, yes, and a number of others as well. And this is your latest acquisition, which is the BNA 42 MSY. MSY yeah. Get that right for you. Well then, why have you bought it? Well, we bought it because we needed a larger capacity machine to replace the single spindle auto we had. And it allows us, obviously, to produce the parts that that machine used to do for us. Uh, and also gives us the uh, flexibility to do subcontract work and a number of other parts uh, within our range of lighting accessories we produce. Now, the machine was actually replaced three machines. Is it brown and sharp machines they replaced? Yes, that's correct. So they're still working strong and going strong and had that capacity, but this has taken it to the next level. Exactly. So it allow, enables us to do, uh, obviously, uh, the automatic ability of the bar changer. We don't have to manually replace the bars. And obviously it gives us uh, the ability to run overnight or into the night at least and get extra work out of the machine through the day. Okay. And this is a 42 mil bar machine. Yep. In terms of what's actually in the envelope, though. So it's obviously main. It's got a main spindle, sub spindle, y axis on the turret. It enables overlap machining on there as well. Uh, so it just gives us a lot of flexibility with the parts we produce. Right. When you say overlap machine, you're talking simultaneous machining. Uh, it is simultaneous machining, but it's a, a, a superimposed it's a superimposed machining. Yeah. So obviously you can do a machining on the main and sub spindle off the single turret at the same time. When you see that in operation, it looks very complicated to do. How is that in terms of the programming? Um, well, we're fortunate in that we, we have a BNA 42 MSY already, um, so we have a number of programs from that that we can cherry pick uh, bits of the program from to produce other parts. So, And again, very simple correct. to do that though with this system? Very simple, yeah. Find the uh, Mitsubishi control very easy to use. All right. You're obviously big fans of the Citizen Machine because this is, as I said, your sixth one, albeit only five now because you've got, got rid of one. Yeah. In terms of you know support and things like that, because Warren is a salesman, is that right? But you've got that's an, right. Yeah, Warren's app, a salesman, yeah. um, and then you've got Stuart uh, for the uh, uh, technical side of things back at um, Citizen. If you have any issues yeah. with programming or machine problems, and we don't want to over compliment him too much. But what, what did you say off camera? In terms I, I think if there's anything he doesn't know about the machines, isn't worth knowing. Right, okay. and it's easy to get, good to get hold of. Oh yeah, easy to get hold of. You want to keep these machines running? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and another question, and something you, you highlighted, in terms of your tooling, because you can obviously, you can double up on your tools, back and front, etc. But mm. an example of, you've got, you know, you've been going since 1840, I'm not alluding that you've still got tools from 1840, but some of your old tools are still in use? Yeah, exactly. So um, there was a lot of tooling uh, on the old single spindle autos that we used to use. So um, we resurrect some of these, to use on the uh, on the new machine because they'd work just as well as new tooling would as well. So, right. a great know, example is the one so we've got there. An example here knurling. is just a, just a knurling tool. It's an old old style knurling knurling box, and that's a that, that's been used to produce uh, a lot of the parts that we we now have in our range. And no no problem getting it onto the machine into the no, it fits on the machine. No problem. It's got perfect. It okay, and I think what we need to do as well is have a quick look at a couple of the components you make. Yes, of course. So, so you do a lot of subcontract so, work, but these so are we do lamp holders. Yeah, so principally lamp holders are part of the range of parts we do. So that's an E27. All the parts of that are made here. Uh, and then we also do E14 and then B22 as well. Okay. And they're all they're all parts that we manufacture here in the UK in this factory. Yeah. And in terms of what you're actually machining, the process is on that. For example, you're broaching inside. Is that is that 
one of the process you're doing? Yes, so we need uh, notches on the in internal parts of, of the lamp holder to locate um, a ceramic interior and a plastic um, insulation sleeve and they're not able to rotate within the, um, within the bodywork so we've had to broach some notches into it to okay. allow that. And in terms of that broaching, your own tooling as well which you've designed? Yes, something we produce here, yeah. Brilliant. And again, no problem fitting it in the machine? So it's no, good. all fits within easily. So I'm getting from that a lot of flexibility from this machine. Yeah, precisely. So far, exactly so far, what we want. Easy to use in terms of your yeah. programming, flexible. And speed, yeah. It's quite, it's quite a lot of machines here. How is it in terms of space and footprint? Well, for a 42 mm machine, I think it's actually got quite a small footprint. Um, obviously, we are fairly limited for space here. Uh, so it was essential to choose a machine which was, uh, was, would fit within the area we had. Plus, we had added, added benefits, the fact we've got one of these already, so it just made sense to get another one because we've got that crossover of skills already.